All right, so to get started with, let's go ahead and create a new project called Shed CDN React. We want to just use Lava Breeze in this case and go ahead and react with inertia and dark mode enabled. We're going to use Pest. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and use SQLite for our database management and we want to run the migrations. So I want to go ahead now and open up this project. And in this case, we just go to Herd and Shashili and React, trust the project, open a new window. And then all we have to do now is just go into ShadCDN React and open it up. So what we do now is we can go ahead and install this. And in this case, there's already an installation guide to how to install it with Laval. So in this case, we can just go ahead and use NPM. So I'm going to go in and just run npx ShadCDN latest. We're going to proceed. Now, in this case, we're going to use the New York theme, natural, and we want to have theming set up, and that's it. So if you take a look now for our um, components one here, you can see that we have all of this set up in here, and it now works with the lava one. We can then go ahead and add a button just to see if that it works. Also want to go ahead and add in an input. And we also want to add in a label. So we can just change the login page for now. And I think I misspelled label there. So let's go ahead and redo that. Then let's go ahead and run npm run dev. And then let's head into our resources, JS components sorry, inside pages, sorry. And then we want to head into off, login. And in this case, we want to change this to be label. We want to import this from components UI label to JSX. We want to get rid of the value here. And then we want to have this as input. Which again, we want to import from components. And then we want to do the same thing down here. We want to have the password set up in here. And then what I want to go ahead and do now is just go ahead and import the button. So if we now go ahead to ShadCDN React the test, click login. And you can see we have this set up. Obviously, we can also change the text uh, checkbox and all the other things. You can see that the register page looks slightly different, but we can go ahead and essentially change this around a bit. Um, but if we take a look in here, we can get rid of these imports. And if you want to, you can also go ahead in here and customize the theming. You could, for example, say, I want this to be in violet and I want to copy the code here. So what we do now is we head into our CSS directory after CSS and we're just going to copy and replace this. So if we go back in, you can see the register page is the same, but the login page now has the styling going on. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching it. Please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.